So this is my Raspberry Pi portable media center. It's powered by batteries and it's got a LCD display on it. I'll switch it on. Uh, there's two LCD displays, this one for displaying video and then the one up the top which is used for navigating around the media center. And it should come up at any second, right, okay. So it's with a splash screen. And what it, what there is is there's four buttons along the top which correspond to menu items on the top line of the LCD display. There's four LEDs as well. Uh, this one which is flashes on the right hand side which shows just that, that it's active and that it's, it's running. Uh, after a minute the display will time out and it will just turn itself off to preserve the battery. And so it's handy to have a an LED there to flash in to tell me it's, it's still powered on. I've got a red LED. I didn't really know what to do with that so what I've done is if it goes above a certain temperature then uh, the CPU it will light up the red LED but because it's using the internal hardware for decoding the video and the audio it actually never gets above about 47 degrees because um, it doesn't actually use a CPU for doing that uh, so it's kind of not, not really in use. <laughs> uh, the yellow LED shows when the video has been paused or when audio has been paused so there, it, there's the, the display turning itself off uh, the green LED shows when something's playing uh, and then there's an LED up this end which shows when the radio station, uh, the internet radio station is connectable. Um, so I'll wake it up. And on, on the end, this, this end uh, menu option is to shut down. But if I press it there's a couple of other options on there. This one's sleep. Uh, that's what it tells it to shut off this LCD display after 60 seconds. But if I press it it goes to awake. And what that means is just keep it on all the time. So if it, if I wasn't running it from batteries, I might have it awake and it just like stays on all the time, so I can see what it's doing. As you can see, the uh, date down here is set to 1970. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll select this menu option, which um, connects to the network over the Wi-Fi. I've got a Wi-Fi dongle there. And it just says it's connecting, so I can just click on OK, and it'll go off and do that. And meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll I'll show some of the other features. So the first option is is video. So if I press that. I can do several things. I can pause the video. I can set the volume. That LED's come up, so it's saying I've got internet connectivity. Um, so if I click on Find, I can navigate through my videos which I've got on here. And if I just select one and hit Select, it should start playing that. So like I said, if I press Pause, it pauses and then pause. To resume. Uh, I've got volume options as well. So actually, if I if I just go back to video and pause it. So with the volume, I can turn the volume down or turn the volume up. So I can go into audio. Let's just stop, stop that playing. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'll go into audio and now it's basically the same as the video uh, apart from it, I, I've got a playlist so I set up a playlist earlier where I can scroll through the options on the playlist and if on this this third line always shows you what's playing or, or what you've got selected um, and if it's too big for the line so I'll go back over there it scrolls the option across the screen for you so you can read the full thing and in the playlist, I can. I'm going through my the playlist. I can delete an option if I want to delete a, a record from the, the playlist. So if I go back and to start the audio, I just go into the volume and then hit play. That starts playing the playlist. If I want to go to the next option in the playlist, I just hit stop and then play again, and that goes to the next option. As you can see, the date and time set itself, and that's connected to the internet. The last one option is is radio, so I can play internet radio. So hit find, and what I can do, I've got a list of loads of radio stations which I put in there. On any of the lists, if you hold down the button, it will then cycle through them quickly. So if you've got a long list, you can go to something really um, quite quickly if you need to. And then once you've selected what you want, you hit select, and it should start playing. Start playing internet radio. So 
stop that and the final thing is to shut down so if I shut down then I get the option no to if I don't want to shut down I just hit, hit that again or if I do want to shut down I hit yes and it shuts down and that's it